Hey guys, um, so I'm just doing a quick direct upload. Um, I could look really terrible because I just got back from tennis and I'm not really wearing any makeup. So yeah, um, this is just, I haven't done a video in like a week now so I just thought I'd put this one up. I've been thinking about doing a how to fake tan video, um, so I might do that one next but I just thought I'd do a quick beauty haul of some of the things that I've got recently. I'm only going to do makeup because I can't bother to find all the clothes that I've got this lately. Um, yeah, so this is the first one. Not the first, I got this yesterday. It's um, just a daily moisturiser from Botanics and it's in normal dry. I like this actually because it's a bit lighter than the one, it's a bit lighter than my um, my Liz R one which is really nice for the, even though it says, even though it is a day I think. Um, I prefer this for the evening because it's a bit heavier. Um, so this is really nice for the daytime. It's really moisturising and blah 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 blah. The next thing I got, I've got loads actually. Um, the next thing I got, which I got um, on Wednesday, is this Good Things uh, facial mask. It's so nice. It like it smells really good of like the goji berry I think that's how you say it it's got all natural ingredients and it's like a really thick mask which you like put on your face and you leave it on for five minutes and it dries and you take it off and it's like it doesn't leave your skin dry it moisturizes it which is quite like I don't know it's weird I don't know where to look um, look at the camera so this is really nice it costs like it did cost like six pounds but definitely worth it because you get a lot so yeah um the net oh the next thing I got is this, I got this because I was watching um, Pixie to Woo and she used this and I just thought it would be quite a cool alternative to using um, hairspray and it's a 24 hour body hold from Tresemme and it's a powder and you just put it in the roots of your hair and it just gives you that extra bit of volume and it's actually like quite fun, like I do like that. Um, the next thing I got, what did I get? Oh, I got this about 10 days ago, or two weeks ago probably actually, and it's the Vita Illumia Chanel Foundation, um, and I haven't really had enough chance to like try this out because um, I haven't really gone out that much because I've been kind of studying and I've got my exam soon, and to college I like, I probably just wear a bit of concealer, or if anything I'd wear a bit of my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser because I just like a lighter coverage really. This is really nice and light, that is why I got it. Um, and it is, I'd say it's like, I'd say I'm a mix between um, the shade uh, 10 and 20, and I got 20. So I'd say it's a teensy bit dark for me at the moment, but um, I can get away with it totally. That's it just there, and then I'll just rub it in. And don't know if you where the hell is the camera and then yeah anyway you can't see that but no it rubs in fine I just have to spend a bit of time and I haven't even got foundation brush so I was gonna get one of those because that would be a lot easier anyway uh, yeah so I like that uh, and I'm in 20 cameo cameo yeah whatever that was quite expensive though so I don't actually any other any other foundation apart from my tinted moisturizer so I wanted to get a good one um, the next thing I got is this uh, warm glow from the body shop it's in O2 and it's a really nice highlight or just a shimmery bronzer don't know if you can see that but it's pretty yeah again I was reading Tanya Blur watching Tanya Burr and she's just great so yeah she's great um, and what else have I got this month? Oh, I got a lipstick from MAC. I'm pretty, I, maybe I've already shown this. I don't know. Uh, I hope not. Uh, anyway, it's just a really pretty, it's Viva Glam Gaga. Viva Glam Gaga. Viva Glam Gaga. I hope I haven't really shown ah! Um, I hope I haven't really shown that. Um, I got this brown lip gloss from Barry M in number two and it smells like chocolate which is kind of gross but it's alright um, I got a Burt's Bees lip balm I hope I haven't shown that too and oh what else oh, I've got where am I where am I um, what's the time 
Score 49, it's okay. I got this 24-7 shadow pencil from Urban Decay in Sin. Now I think it's like the most gorgeous colour uh, ever. I can't bother there. I'm sure you all know what Sin looks like. But if you're putting it, if you want to put it all over your lid, I'm finding it quite difficult because it just dries so fast. So I've looked online and some people say you have to just like deal with it really fast, but it can just look kind of clumpy and not very smooth so that's a bit annoying but it's great for your waterline and just for lining the top line which is cool um so yeah that's all good what's back here um yeah oh and then i've got i recently got these they're like the urban decay uh 24 7 liners but minis and i think i got like how many did i get of those uh, that's four, five, I've got loads, six, eight, so I've got all these, I'll just quickly read out the colours for you, Rockstar, which is like a purple, um, what the hell does that say, El Orado, it's like a gold, Corrupt, like a brown, graffiti, it's green, oil slick, it's like a metallic black, stash, it's like an olive green, binge, it's like a navy blue, ransom, which is like a purple, and zero, which is just a regular black. And I quite like these, they're alright. I'm quite glad I got minis though, because I never run out of eyeliner, and I've got like eight of these now, so it's pretty sweet. Um, I also got L'Oreal Superliner in Carbon Gloss because I love, I've already spoken about this one which is the same one but I got it with like black sparkles and I wanted just a regular black so that was good. So I got that. And um, before I go on to nails, I did just get in the mail, I'm so happy, the Urban Decay Naked palette and I've been so late on this but I'm so happy I just got it and it comes with a little mini thing like this and it comes with their uh, full size eyeshadow brush which retails at like 16 quid so that's cool and I just think it's so pretty and I hope I'm never going to have to buy another eyeshadow again uh, but yeah anyway I'm really excited to use that Ooh. Um, and then all right, last thing for my makeup drawer, I think, is this Topshop um, crayon. It's like a fat eyeliner, and it is in the colour... Where are you colour? I think it's like Woodland or something. Where the hell does it say it? Yeah, Woodland. It's in the colour Woodland, um, and it's kind of like a shimmery brown that's what it looks like and it's just really pretty um it's only five pounds so yeah that is what's in there um and then i've got a couple nail varnishes um this month i need to hurry up though because i got this one from opi which is peruby peruby which is kind of like a nice like deep pinky reddish colour with some sort of metallics in there. I haven't actually got to use this one yet but I'll try that out. Um, I have got loads of Barry M nail varnishes. I've gone like Barry M crazy. Uh, let me just get them all for you. Ah! Okay. So I don't think I've shown, If I'm sorry if I've already shown some of these but I don't think, I definitely haven't shown these two, because I got these like two days ago. I got this one, I love it. I'm wearing it on my nails right now, it's so pretty. It's like a lilac. Oh my God, I'm like in love with it. I got it on my toes as well. I love this color. I love the nail varnishes because they come out exactly like they look on the on the, like, on the the bottle. So you don't have to put, like you only have to put one layer on and they all look like this, which sometimes is a little bit annoying if I want it to actually be lighter, but whatever it's so pretty I love this and it's like two for four pounds or two for five pounds everywhere at the moment and this is 308 and it's called berry love that 
Um, another one that I've liked is this really pretty sky blue colour. I kind of want to get one that's a little bit lighter as well. And this is called Blueberry. I've had that on my nails last week. I've been loving the pastel range. I know I know it's gross, but I've been liking that. Shit, we've gone 10 minutes. Okay, uh, this one, I haven't tried this yet, but it looks really cute. It's like lemon curd kind of thing, and it's called Lemon. Um, another one I got is just a regular white to do like like designs with. Raspberry, beautiful deep purplish colour. Um, pink iridescent, which is just like a shimmer, glittery pink colour. I don't really know why I've got that because I've already got one exactly like that. Uh, mushroom, which is like a brownish taupey colour, kind of like You Don't Know Jacques by OPI. I wish it was a little bit lighter, I want a sort of lighter brown, but I don't want it to be the OPI Barcelona one or whatever it's called, but yeah. Okay guys, sorry this was so rushed, and I'm not going to be able to edit anything, but hope you like this quick haul, and I'll see you later.